I don't think there's like a anything warm at the top, is there? I don't know. Maybe there's some weird magic or whatever at the top that will keep us warm. God, I hope that's true. <laughs> I hope that's true. I have a feeling it won't be, though. <laughs> Alright. Looks like just a bit more. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, yeah. shit! Oh, God! It's stunned! Oh, yeah. wow! God! <laughs>we had last left the last dragonborn they had continued making their way all the way over to high hrothgar yes to meet with the gray the gray boards the gray beards one more time at the behest of delphine and esburn of the blades there would they try to uncover more secrets of the return of the dragons and try to put an end to their horrific attacks Yes, but along the way did they run into roving packs of bears, a weird old lady who did sleep, and a dead troll. It was quite disturbing. But now at long last had they arrived in Whiterun, ready to set forth out and up the slopes of the throat of the world. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Welcome back. Man, I love how fucking, like, old and shitty my character looks god i love that i don't know i i don't know <laughs> i have like a weird thing about playing fucking just nasty old looking men i don't know <laughs> i like it i'm into it <laughs> is this why i connect so much to playing disco elysium because <laughs> the main character is just a nasty like old man while he's <laughs> How old, really? Who can say? But nonetheless, we're here. You can see our gloves are clipping through our armor because it's of uh, mixed match sets. Because, hey, we finally got our whole two-hander situation sorted out, at least for the time being. Let's see, I've equipped all of my goodies, as you can see here. Oh my gosh. We're at 160 damage, which pales in comparison to what we can do with a one-hander, especially given the swing speed, right? Look at this. Yeah, 0. 0.7 versus 0. 0.9. Yeah. But, hey, great way to level up our two-handed, huh? Carjo is raring to go. We've deposited a few things. Uh, I bought out the alchemy and blacksmith shops for future crafting and all that. I think um, once we do our big craft off, we need to make sure that we go pick up one of the signs, right? We should pick up, or not signs, one of the standing stones. We definitely need to go and grab... Um, the warrior sign if we're doing blacksmithing and of course well what which is alchemy thief right alchemy is thief huh i remember i had this question before and it, it i just don't remember oh shit it's in the middle which is it i think it's the thief right i want to say it's the thief because enchanting is the mages or the apprentices um crafting unit right all three of them have their own crafting specific skill okay let's go over here see if the caravan has refreshed its gold Do you supply to make a take a look because as you'll see i drained myself quite a bit let's see is there anything worthwhile buying here we could buy some ebony that's always good right Good shit. You know what? We're doing it. We're buying that ebony. Okay, and then let's sell off some weird useless potions here real quick. Good, good, good. Like this stuff. There we are. Let's see. Hmm. Should we oversell a bit? Eh, we'll undersell it. And then we'll buy... I don't know, what else should we buy? Some iron ore? Yeah, that's... that's basically gold, right? Okay. Cool, we could buy a Grand Soul Gem as well if we wanted. Maybe we do that, right? Yeah, let's buy some Grand Soul Gems. Yeah, let's just buy all the Soul Gems, fuck it. What am I saying? Let's buy them all. Look at that, speech went up and everything. There we are, because we can barter off our other stuff, right? And we're not buying any of that fantastic shit just yet. Okay, good. And now, let's do a little bartering real quick. Sort by value here. 
And let's get rid of this? Well, that's like resist everything for one minute. That's pretty all right. This shit, I'm not even gonna read all of the shit that it does. <laughs> this thing, get rid of that. Hmm, fortify sneak, do I need it though? I don't know, fortify illusion, resist fire damage. We'll just get rid of this. There we are. Fortify pickpocket. Yeah. Fortify sneak again. Here we are. Let's turn this down. Great. And then, do we have anything going for about 200? 197. We've got 198 here. There we are. Get rid of that. We lose out one gold piece. May your road lead you to warm sands. Okay. Let's eat some salmon and be on our way. By the by, I went and cooked up some more delicious yum yums, just a few. So we've got some excess food for the road. Okay, let's see. Where is Prior Mabel at? Did Prior Mabel die at some point? Because this is not Prior Mabel at all. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to steal this horse, right? Is it because we walked here? Hmm. I would have thought that, um, sleeping would have fixed that shit, but, or would have made Prior Mabel respawn out here, but I guess not? Weird. Huh, oh, what can you do? All right, let's head on up the mountain. We're gonna go around this side, right? Seems like a good plan. Agreed on all that. Should we do a quick pit stop over here at the, um, the fence? I think maybe we should, right? I think they're open already. Let's see, what time is it? 9.23? They might not be open. We may as well check. Why not? Because they have one grand at all times? Pretty good. All right. Let's take a quick peek. Hopefully the horse does not run away. Oh God, it is. Okay, well, this is a problem. We can't do it because the horse is gonna leave and we're not going up this fucking mountain without a horse, all right? We need the horse. <laughs> all right, it's worth it. We're trading a thousand gold to be able to use this horse temporarily. It makes sense. It checks out, it adds up. All right here. Gosh, where is Prior Mabel? <laughs> the, the horse situation in this game is wild. I swear, there needs to be a whistle for your horse ability in Elder Scrolls 6. If there is not, what the fuck has happened? <laughs> I know that you can summon... Oh, shit. You can summon some horses in, in this game, but I just want to be able to whistle for a normal fucking horse. I don't always want some sort of, like, wizard's horse, or, like, Satan's favorite, like, magic horse, or whatever the fuck. Oh, God. Boom! 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 Good lord. Look at me, I'm, like, some sort of, like, ultra executioner. Killing shit on horseback like this. Yeah, look out, elk. It's about to get you, for real. Okay. Stow our weapon like that. Does the bonus reach on your melee weapon apply while on horseback? Hmm. Or is the only stat that takes into account the damage and like enchant? I don't know, I could see it going either way. All right. Good, good, good. Now, do we go up this side? I think maybe we do? Shit, who the hell knows? All right, well, you know what? You know what I know for sure? We need to get rid of this custom destination. Remove it. Okay. Let's see. So maybe we just go around Helgen Way? I'm not sure. You know what? Let's do a quick save and say, fuck it, we're going up this way. F it. Let's see what happens. Who knows? There we are. I think we've gone up here before, but honestly, I can't even remember what the hell happened. Maybe we just died and turned around. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. All right, let's see. Up here. Yeah, this is where we went to go fight the vampire lords, right? Okay. Good, good, good. This is one of the roads that I rarely travel, right? I don't know. Until now, until this playthrough, honestly, you want to know what my longest played Bethesda game was? Not Morrowind. Definitely not Oblivion but Fallout 4. Well, okay, I take it back. Maybe now Fallout 76, honestly. <laughs> that's that's probably the real answer, jeez. Okay, 
Oh shit. Oh, what is this? Who, who are you? Oh God. There's some murderers here. What do they want? To murder me. So I'm going to murder them first. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Cool, look, this is power leveling. Oh my god! Oh my god! Am I hitting them? Jesus! Yeah, oh, fuck! Alright. Oh, yeah. I'm getting them, Carjo. Boom, one-handed with the two-handed. Oh, you better look the fuck out, dude. Boom! Alright. Boom! Look out, Carjo. Oh, sorry, Carjo. Back away from the horse, Carjo. Ooh. Okay, there we are. Ooh, Ooh dangerous. Alright. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's get off of our horse. And you know what? It just occurred to me. We have a horse calming ability, don't we? Let's see. What is it? Animal allegiance? Or, 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 um... The other one, Kind's Peace. I think we go with the Allegiance here, right? Okay. Run! Run! <laughs> okay, well, you know what? It's leaving us, but it's slow enough to where we should be able to catch up. Right. Okay, anything good here? Look, they have some sort of magical book of wonder. Warrior. Okay. Wow, we've never read that in this game. Holy shit, and it gave us a ding! Oh! Jeez, all right. Charge skeever. Mmm, I double the skeever. Jeez, jeez, jeez. All right. We knocked over one of these. 24 quatlus. What have you got? 25. A pick. Should I take some of these? Hell yeah, I should. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course I should. All right, let's get on the horse. Boom. Okay. Down this way. There we are. That looks, that looks right. Right in front of us. This looks like something that's going to take us up to the Greybeards. Alright. Here we are. Good, good, good. Oh, look at this. So serene. So peaceful. So relaxing. Alright. No fucking dragons around screaming at us, interrupting our chill-ass times. A lovely fox. Oh, shit! Is this a stray dog? Oh, no, it's a hunter's dog, isn't it? Or is it? Let's find out. Come back here. Nope, you're just a you're a dog dog. I knew I'd find you. There we are. They didn't see me. <laughs> Alright. Good. And then this should take us to Helgen, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay. Up this way. Look at that. Very cool. You know what you hardly ever see in Skyrim? Other people traveling along on horseback, huh? How come most of the guards in Skyrim are dismounted? What's up with that? Especially since Skyrim includes mounted combat, right? Remember, lest we forget in Oblivion, there were guards who were mounted and would do patrols, right? Around like the fucking Red Ring Road. Huh, why is that? How bizarre. And they and there wasn't mounted combat in Oblivion, right? You they would have to dismount to get into combat and all that. Weird. Okay, well, nonetheless, let's head on over here. What is this structure? Fort Newgrod. Do we have a quest for that? What is that shit about? Let's see. Fort Newgrod. Good god, we have so much miscellaneous shit to do. <laughs> We have so much. Hmm. I don't think we have a quest for it unless it is unmarked. Like, oh yeah, the... The... Yeah, Draven's bow goes inside of there. Bring a follower to Delphine. Delphine is in there for some reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, let's go on up. There we are. Good. Oh, look at this. I do miss Prior Mabel. Where are you, Prior Mabel? I miss your accompaniment. And look. Okay. There's actually some junk up there. Huh. 
Who would have sunk? All right. Well, for the time being, we have business to attend to, right? I would like to actually finally get to the Greybeards. <laughs> I don't know if it'll happen, but I'd love for it to happen, right? Oh shit, is this our... No, this is where we came to, yeah, Orphan Rock. We battled, like, witches and fell prey to a Frost Rune or something like that. Electro Rune. Who knows? Some kind of Wizard's Rune. Alright, up here. Prior Mabel is getting a little tired. It's not good. Oh shit. Oh, it's Stormcloaks. Hey, look! They have a bunch of horses here just as well. Okay. Should we reveal their... Their shit here? Why not? Falkreath, Stormcloak Camp. Okay, cool. Hey everyone, should we just take some shit? Maybe. Look, do you all have anything good up here? Some charred skeever hide. Neat. What's this? Wood chopping block. I like that. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Okay, sure. Oh shit, a blacksmith? <laughs> Damn faithless Do you actually Imperials. sell shit? What do you need? No, you do not. Oh shit, you do! Oh my god! Okay, wow. Huh. Do you have anything I would want? Let's see. Iron ore. We are getting a little encumbered though, aren't we? I'll take it. Against my better judgment. We can stash it on Karjo. There we go. Look at this, an ultimate healing potion. Go back to your work. Good. Okay. What's in this? Some secret treasure. 46 quatlus. Inside of this. Good. Okay. Neat, neat, neat. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh god. Oh my god, this is who the health potion was for. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, I didn't know this was even in the game. Oh, I'm keeping the health potion though. Gordon, stop trying to guilt trip me here. Oh. Let me out. Gordon, I don't want to deal with the consequences of my actions. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Damn you, Gordon! Damn you! All right, look. We in a first. We may have to move Gordon. Oh wait, Gordon is alteration, right? Yeah. There we go. There. <laughs> Problem solved. All right. Let's see anything in there. Carrots. What's up here? Oh shit! Getting frosted. Yeah, they're reforming the dawn god. Oh, for fuck's sake, Vampire dude. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, okay. they're rifted. Warm up by this. I'd consider joining up myself. Fight or die well. Oh, uh, okay. Until next time. Let's see. Let's heal on up as well. Why not? Good. And then, let's get our ebony battle axe back at the ready. That way we can quickly draw it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Actually, here's a question. Is it actually quicker for... Let's see. So, I have it out like this. Is it quicker if I go... No, okay, you still have to... Okay, you still have to, like, unsheathe your weapon. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see. Well, I do want that back. There we go. Okay. Well, our horse is long gone, but that's fine. Let's see. We can just get one here for free. Let's see. What have you got? Some salt. Nice. How about you? What have you got? A shield. I fight the entire legion myself. Cool. Show their faces here. Rad. All right. How about you? Ooh, an amulet of Mara. Some money as well. I like that. Okay. How about? Oh god! How about these guys? How about you all? Okay, you don't have anything. Okay. <laughs> the smith. Hmm. Got some steel arrows. Soldiers gleam like fresh fallen snow and clank like a kitchen. They head this way, we'll know it. They clank like a kitchen. I like that. Pickpocket. Okay. Go to pickpocket. All right. All right. All right. Kershaw, evasive actions. I'll try and make this quick. Boom. Boom. Woo. 
<laughs> Hasta la vista, baby! Oh, shit! Oh, there's a lot here. Okay, let's see. Is this gonna get us where I need to go? Or is this a dead end? This might be a dead end. Let's, <laughs> let's see. Cross your fingers. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Am I doing it? Oh, God. Am I doing it? Oh, am I doing it? Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. We've, we've escaped them. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, it's fine. Up this way? Oh, look, we can do it like this. Oh, we can do it like this easy. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no. God. All right. Oh. Oh. I'm almost there. I'm almost home free. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Look at that. Best way up the mountain. <laughs> Who even needs levitate? Jeez. Oh. See, they banned levitation magic and the horses learned it. Genius. Okay. Let's continue up here. There's probably going to be, yep, that fucking troll. Forget you. I don't want to fight you. I'm freezing, dude. We've already done this the long way. All right. We're skipping out on our magical boon, right? That you get by activating all of the little shrines. It's fine. Okay. Up and over here. Down this way. Very nice. Oh, jeez. Karjo is just wiping out the entirety of the Stormcloak army right there. <laughs> they've just, in the blink of an eye, they've uh, just popped right off of the map. Who knows what happens? The Imperial kitchen soldiers show up. They're clinking and clanking left and right. And what do they see? Just a whole bunch of bodies everywhere. And in the distance, they can hear it. Him sniffing. Karjo sniffing his calling card. His sniff is so, like, powerful <laughs> that it echoes across the mountains, bounces off of them into the valley. <laughs> they can hear him sniffing. <laughs> it's See, it's not that Khajiit are good at smelling stuff, right? Because you can play as a Khajiit, and you don't have any, like, ability to smell people and all that, right? No other Khajiit talk about being able to smell especially well, do they? No. It's only Karjo. Karjo is the blessed chosen one. <laughs> he, he has a powerful snoofer. Snoofer. <laughs> All right. Good. We're up in here. Still a little chilly, but it's fine. Let's see. Let's do a quick save just as well. Grab some of their moss. Cool. Hey, Wolfgar. Nova King. <laughs> Alright. Arn Sky gear. guide you. Wind guide you. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let's ask him first about any more words of power. Have you located any more words of we power? I felt the whisper of a word. <gasps> Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Okay. Find the word of power in Dead Men's Respite. Okay. I need to learn the shout to use to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Does it matter? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades helped me find out about it. Let's just bring up the wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, but I, I will kill that dragon. He seems pretty bad. I will kill that dragon, right? I'm definitely going to do that. The Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. The Blades just want to defeat Alduin, don't you? At least the Blades aren't keeping their secrets from me. The Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. <laughs> Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. Oh, okay, but I thought he was being warning. a dick. <laughs> the blades no, no, of course they not. They would the never Dragonborn, do that. But they do not. They never have. 
Okay, so can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. I thought you fucking knew it everything. It's called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. <laughs> What's so bad about Dragonrend? If the shout is lost, how can I defeat it? Let's say this. I thought you knew them all. But not Dragonrend. Wait, you really do know them all? The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. Arngir, I wish you would just scream every single word into the floor like that one time so I wouldn't have to travel around to a million fucking places just to learn how to, like, make animals not attack me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. I bet canonically, that explains, that's, that's like a canonical reason for what could potentially happen in the like epilogue quest for the main quest, right? You know what I'm talking about? Maybe like that would be the reason for your character doing what many people choose not to do. All right, if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Who is Parthenax? Why haven't I met Parthenax yet? I need to speak to Parthenax then. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Wow, well why haven't I met this person yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. Wow. He speaks to us only rarely. A hermit among hermits. Us. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Okay, well, how do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Do I just need my horse? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Hmm. Okay. Oh, shit, I didn't warm up while in conversation with him. Look at this car show. Can you believe this shit? <laughs> It's fucking wild, huh? I come up here and I talk to these old fucks and they teach me shit. It's fucking wild. <laughs> All right. Where are we even going? Are we going outside? Gosh, it's so cold outside. I would really like to just stay inside here, but okay. Here, I need to eat something just as well. How about this disgusting shit? Horse. Ugh. Okay. Is, is there a door here? Are we just going to this little... Oh, okay, there is a door here. Neat. Okay. <laughs> Car show. <laughs> Good lord. You'd think they would use their whirlwind sprint, huh, Car show? No, nope, you'd, you'd think wrong. They're very uh, chill about it. Okay. Do you think there's other shouts for just, you know, everyday use? Right? People who had the thum and the way of the voice and all that shit. You know, maybe you just wanted to help out in everyday life, like, Oh, make me a ham sandwich shout. Ham sandwich! <laughs> or, do the laundry! <laughs> Good lord. Because look, you know, they've been up here for, like, a shitload of time. To Parthenax lies through this Their outfits place. don't look too bad. I will show you how to open the way. Okay. Look. Oh. Oh. Far. Look far. Core. 
Hey, how do you do that? I want to throw shit into the ground too. All right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragon. Use it well. Dope. Oh shit. Oh yeah, turn up the bass on gear. Mm. Cool. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Thanks, dude. Do you have anything else to Use say? Clear skies to open the way to Parthenax. Okay, all right. Let's see, clear skies. Skyrim itself yields before the thune as you clear away fog and inclement weather. Very useful on survival, huh? Okay, let's do a quick save because I'd imagine it's still going to be pretty cold even once we clear this shit out. Luke, parkour! Ooh, it shakes me. All right, good, good, good. Fortunately, it has such a low cooldown, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Luke, parkour. There we go. Oh god, did it not work on that? Uh oh. Oh god. Team. Uh, uh. I'm running through it. It didn't seem to have any bad effect on my health. Okay. Let's see. Oh shit! Some good shit here. Okay. Good. Carjo, don't worry, I'm not actually losing way or losing sight of the goal. I'm just getting a little bit of silver. This is called a side quest? I've done so many. Luke! Parkour! There we go. Good. Take care of you. Boom, boom, bam! Alright. Good. Sorry, goat. I needed that, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. Okay. Oh, right. All the dumb shit I, I bought. Karjo, here, take this dumb shit. Kajit guards your back. All right. I will shoulder some of your burden. Thank you, Karjo. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Take some of that. Good. Lovely. And all of this as well. Okay, cool. Let's see, anything else though? Let's give him some some of this alchemy shit. Good. Anything else? Nah, no, that's probably it for now, right? Yeah, that'll do. Here, work a share us as well. Why not? Okay. Lead on. Karjo, you're so fucking lucky I have to keep using this shout to clear the weather. Otherwise, I would have totally sent you flying no! off right there. <laughs> gosh, what a perfect point. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see, let's rumble here. Boom. There we go. Gotcha. Take all that shit. Lovely. A little chilly, but it's fine. Good. Okay. Look at that. The lake and everything. Beautiful. Okay. Up here. I think I remember the first time I came through here, I thought that those icicles would fall down on you in, like, some sort of, uh, platformer kind of way, right? <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's dig this up. Great! Okay. And then, get our battle axe back, just in case. Good. I think you may actually need to, for real, aim this thing, right? We're in combat with something. It might be a troll. Oh shit, Karjo, you're fucking nuts! Oh my god! Karjo, that's the killing fog! No. It's the mist! Parkour. Stephen King warned us about this! God, no. Hang on, Karjo. Let me get the soul trap. There we go. Alright. Good. Good. 
Boom! Bam! Ooh, yeah. Give me your troll fat. All right. I think this is just weird snow right here. Drifting. Snow drifts. Okay. There we are. It looks really nice, though, right? Okay. Up and over here. Oh, shit. Another one of you. Oh, you fucker! Oh, you fucker! Oh! Boom. Gotcha. Take that. Cool. Alright. Okay. Let's clear some of this. Good. Get some healing as well. Lovely. And let's re-equip our axe. Good, good, good. Okay. I do love how much more treacherous this section is. Just even um, disregarding the weird uh, icy fog shit that is obliterating us, right? Okay. Oh shit, are we like at the top now? <laughs> Boom! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh fuck, I'm never gonna get there hide or anything. Okay. Let's see... I don't think there's like a anything warm at the top, is there? I don't know. Maybe there's some weird magic or whatever at the top that will keep us warm. God, I hope that's true. I hope that's true. I have a feeling it won't be, though. <laughs> Alright. Looks like just a bit more. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, yeah. shit! Oh, God! It's stunned! Oh, yeah. wow! God! <laughs> it stunned the shit out of me! Oh, I couldn't... I was charging up, and I was like... <laughs> I literally choked up. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> Let's fix our shit here. There we go. Good. Luke, parkour! Good. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> God, I bet that's hell in VR, huh? <laughs> does it does it still make you wiggle like that? <laughs> okay, here we go. Throw to the world. Oh shit! It is warm up here. <gasps> Where is this Parthenax? Where are you? Oh shit! Oh no, it's a dragon! Oh no, I, I better fight it! Oh, what? The dragon is part of the next? Greetings, Wundernik. I am Parthenax. I thought this shit was so cool Who back in the day. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. You're the master of the Greybeards? I think you already know who I am. I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Wren shout. Can you teach me? Also, it's even cooler when you've come to find out however you do. I forgot how I even found out, right? I think maybe by now most people know, but when you find out who the voice actor is for Parthenax and who they're more famous for playing. <laughs> it's so fucking dope. All right, uh, can you teach me, Dragonrend? Hmm, Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Oh? By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my yeah, thumb. that's you. <laughs> Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Oh. Calls you, go to it. Oh shit, okay. A gift, Dorkin. <sighs> You'll understand fire as the dove do. Oh shit. I feel like this would hurt him though, right? I mean, Arangir can do it, but he's not a dragon. 
Show me what you can do. Greet me, not as elf, but as Dova. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of this. Fire breath. Inhale air, exhale flame. And behold, the thum as inferno. All right, also this will probably hurt too. <laughs> Here we Why go. Why do you delay? Are you Dover Keen or not? Did you not hear me come up here though? No! Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. That's cool, but I'm gonna freeze to death up here, dude. Uh oh. I need to do a little healing as well. Whew. <laughs> all right, can we clear skies again? <laughs> That'd be nice. Is this making me cold at all? Luke, parkour. That do anything? So you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the dragon wren shout? What I asked you earlier. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know I came for Dragonrend? The Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Do you know Dragonrend or not? How did you know? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Hmm. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove. The dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Well, how can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. <laughs> First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Well, that's none of your business. I need to stop Alduin. I like this world. I don't want it to end. Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Yeah, they're weird. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Mm. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa? Oh. Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? I would. I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you. The next world will have to take care of itself. Yeah. Paz. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? 
No. Dragons like mountains, right? I love how you can be so dumb in this conversation. <laughs> I never thought about it. You said you were going to answer my question. Dragons like mountains, right? Mm, true. Oh, it is true. But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Why do dragons like mountains? Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Using the dragon wren shout, right? Hmm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Mm. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. An Elder Scroll? What's that? Are you saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? This was so cool as well because of the three Elder Scrolls games that I had played and have played, at least for the time, well, barring spinoffs, of the three core ones that I've played, the Elder Scrolls have, like, either not even been present in the game or been relegated to side quests, right? Thieves Guild and all that. All right. An Elder Scroll, what's that? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan. They are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelle, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. Right. But this and the is prophecies only were a the small games, right? part of their power. That was the idea. So far, Suryek. Okay. Are you saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. I thought he said that there was an end Which to time. Which is why that he I see have beyond. lived here for thousands of mortal years. I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Man, what a camper! <laughs> how, how does any of this help me? But didn't he say that there were things that, like mortals or whatever, couldn't see past? the end of time implying that there is an end of time like wouldn't the idea be just send Alduin to right before time ends I don't know how does any of this help me Tid Krent time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin if you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend, from those who created it. God, that fucking blew my mind that that would be where this game was going. Back when I first heard that shit, I was like, 
You're fucking kidding. <laughs> Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. The Lorekeeper at the College of Winterhold might know. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. I forget. You don't have that option, do you? If, um... Like, don't you have also other options? There, That's like... That little bit there was a bit of reactivity, I should say. Like, can't you also bring up a few other things, depending on other factions and stuff that you're deep in? Right? Maybe. But what do I do with the Elder Scroll when I find it? Return it here to the Tid Ahran. Then... Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Aran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Mm. Then you will feel no Dragonrend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuthfadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. Haken, Gormleth, Feldir? Who are they? Also, do you have any snacks up here? I'm getting hungry. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin, Sahrothun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. How could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin through time? Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. Neat. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. You mean, you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. What does the Dragon Wren shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Right. And that's such a common trope, right? That there's always, in various bits of fiction, of immortal beings being completely crippled by having to contemplate the idea of, like, death and being temporary, right? You're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? In fact, what was it recently that I'd watched or something? A movie or a show or something? Recently where that was, like, a big point of contention or maybe in a game huh to make to wear like a something immortal or like a god maybe it was pillars of eternity 
I think it may have been Pillars of Eternity. All right. You're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. Man, how'd they even know you were still up I here? I <laughs> meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. So how old are the Greybeards then? If he's been up for here for a hundred years, are they human? Are the Greybeards not human? Huh. Maybe them, the way of the voice or whatever, prolongs their own life? I have no idea. Maybe it's just a secret that they pass down among Greybeards? How do new Greybeards come to be? I have no clue. You meditate on the words. How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Hmm. And Fus is our unrelenting force. Fime, I think, is our frost breath, and Yol is our fire breath that we just learned. I always end up going with Fus because it's just my favorite shout, right? It's so much fun. But I think all it does, it doesn't, like, reduce the cooldown. Well, it might. But I, I think it adds additional damage, like it just does some raw damage. Eh, I don't know. Still, I think you can change your pick here at a certain point, or maybe immediately after this. Let's go with Foos. It's my favorite. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Foos. Let its meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Hmm. Maybe it does also make it shoot further, right? Okay, yeah, here we go. I wish to meditate on a word of power. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Oops, I changed my mind. Drem Yolok. Greetings. All right. See you, Parthenax. I guess we'll talk again later. Sum Ark Mora. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Karsha, that's pretty weird, huh? <laughs> did, you, did you expect this? <laughs> Kajit got your back. Alright, good thing talking to Parthenax is... Well, it literally heart warms your heart, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you 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 don't get cold when you're in conversation with them. It's a it's a very nice warming conversation and all that, right? Okay, cool. Well, when next we come back, holy shit, no reading this time as well because holy shit, we we talked to Parthenax so much. When next we come back, we will go back down the mountain. We'll definitely go check out the Greybeards as well. We'll have some words with them, and also before we go down, we still have to go up a little bit, right? There's a little something up there. All right, but um, yeah, that'll do it. When next we come back, all this shit, we're gonna check in, I guess, at the College of Winterhold. We also have those two optional objectives, all that stuff. Jeez, until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>